In the realm of computer-aided design, two titans stand tall, AutoCAD and Revit. Both have revolutionized the way architects and designers approach their work, but each carries its unique set of advantages and drawbacks. Today, we delve into the world of these two powerful tools, comparing their strengths and weaknesses to help you navigate your way through the architectural software landscape. AutoCAD, born in 1982, remains one of the oldest and most trusted design software in the industry. Its longevity is a testament to its versatility and robustness. It's best known for its 2D drafting capabilities, allowing for precise, detailed work that's crucial in architectural and engineering design. However, it's not without its downsides. AutoCAD's primary drawback is its complexity. It's a tool that requires a steep learning curve, and mastering it takes time and patience. Additionally, it is largely based on single-line drawings, which can limit its ability to represent complex 3D structures. On the other side of the ring, we have Revit. Introduced in 2000, Revit brought a fresh perspective to the industry with its Building Information Modeling, or BIM, approach. BIM allows architects to create 3D models that embed crucial information about the project, from materials to cost estimates, Revit shines in its ability to handle complex 3D projects with ease. It simplifies the process of making changes, as one alteration automatically updates across the entire model. However, it does have its weak spots. Revit is not as flexible as AutoCAD when it comes to 2D drafting. Moreover, it may not be ideal for smaller projects as its capabilities and complexity might be overkill. So, how do these two compare? The key differences lie in their approach to design and their ideal use cases. AutoCAD is a drafting tool at heart. It excels in creating detailed, precise 2D designs and can handle 3D, but it's not its strongest suit. It's an excellent choice for projects where accuracy and detail are paramount. Revit, however, is a building design tool. It's centered around creating 3D models that contain valuable project information. It's the go-to for large, complex projects where 3D modeling and coordination are critical. In summary, the choice between AutoCAD and Revit comes down to your project needs. If you need intricate 2D designs and value precision, AutoCAD is your tool. But if your project revolves around 3D modeling and incorporates a lot of project information, Revit has the upper hand. Both have their place in the architectural world, and understanding their strengths and weaknesses is key to harnessing their power effectively. Remember, the best tool is the one that helps you bring your vision to life most efficiently and effectively. The journey of architectural design is a complex one, and the right tools can make all the difference. So whether you choose AutoCAD or Revit, know that you're wielding some of the most powerful design software available today. Thank you for watching our comparison of AutoCAD and Revit. We hope you found this information useful in deciding which software best suits your needs. If you found this video helpful, please take a moment to give it a thumbs up. Your likes help us understand what content is most beneficial for our viewers. We would love to hear your thoughts on AutoCAD versus Revit. Do you have a preferred software? Or perhaps you have questions about some of the features we discussed today? Please share your thoughts and inquiries in the comment section below. Also, consider sharing this video with your colleagues or friends who might find this comparison useful. Spreading knowledge is one of the most powerful ways we can grow as a community. Finally, if you want to stay updated with our latest content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We have a lot more informative and exciting videos on the way, and we wouldn't want you to miss out. Remember, our channel thrives on your engagement and feedback. So, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.